It's the lower part of the obelisk that actually mentions the Jubilee. And it's, it simply says this. First occasion of celebrating the Jubilee so that he may enjoy being given life forever. It's very, very simple indeed, very standard. You will find that on many, many monuments in ancient Egypt. So there's nothing mysterious about this at all. It's entirely factual, and it's simply the king um, celebrating with gratitude to um, various the gods of Heliopolis, of course, and we'll talk about that in a moment, celebrating the fact that he has reigned for 30 years. Now, I've mentioned two of the titles. At the very top, underneath the Pyramidion, is the Horus title, that is the first one. Now, the king, as a reigning sovereign in Egypt, was always known as the Horus. Now, Horus, in Egyptian mythology, was the son of Osiris. After the king died, he became an Osiris. But during his lifetime, he was the Horus. Now, the Horus is a hawk, a bird that can fly right up uh, near the sun, and it's the bird that can, can hover, and obviously fascinated the ancient Egyptians. They thought, thought it was a very, very special bird, and indeed it is, of course. It's a bird of prey, and it can... Um, it, it, it symbolized for them a sort of royal bird. We think of the eagle, but the eagle um, is not native to Egypt. The hawk was their royal bird. And so it is the hawk that symbolizes the king when he reigns upon earth. So that's another of his titles. We've had three. The hawk name is not inside a cartouche, but it is inside what is called a serech. And the serech, which you can see underneath the pyramidion at the top of the obelisk, that is um, a representation, probably, of the royal palace in Memphis, the capital. 